Hey everybody, welcome to my tutorial on how to create a, uh, a Rayman PS1 ROM hack. So you may have seen uh, one of my latest videos. It is me going through the Kaizo ROM hack, which was made by the Rayman 1 speedrunning community. And you might be interested in knowing how to create levels yourself. So uh, this is the right address. I'm gonna show you exactly how to make uh, ROM hacks from scratch. Uh, it all starts in uh, on the website raym.app. So you're gonna go there. Oh, when I mention links or anything, I will um, put all the links in the description below. So uh, yeah, it starts at raym.app. Shoutouts, by the way, to Drooly, Robin, and Ray Carrot for providing these amazing tools. So uh, on this page, um, you go to Ray One Editor, and then there is two links you need to click. Uh, first of all, download Rayman One PS One Edit Kit. Uh, you also need Seven Zip, by the way, to uh, extract that. Um, so uh, make sure to get Seven Zip. It's the best compressor or um, compression tool, anyway. So uh, it's good to have. And then you're gonna click Download Latest Version as well. And then here, under the latest version, you're going to go to Assets. And then you're going to download the self-contained uh, version, which is the one I uh, recommend. Okay. So then, um, after extracting them to a, f uh, to a folder, you are left with these three uh, items. So you have the self-contained, the tools folder, and the files folder. Okay. So you're going to be opening uh, the self-contained uh, executable. And then you're going to go to this screen. Uh, now, this is not there normally, so you're going to be uh, facing this screen right here. Uh, first of all, you're going to go to Tools, Settings. And then uh, this Browse button here, you have to click it. And then you're going to browse to your uh, Tools uh, folder that you extracted earlier. And then you're going to click on mkpsxiso.x. You're going to press Open, and then you can close the window. Uh, then you're gonna press this plus icon here in the middle at the bottom. Uh, you're gonna give a name to the ROM hack you're gonna create. Uh, Kaizo or Evil or whatever the hell you want. So uh, let's just name one Kaizo, it doesn't matter. Uh, game mode you're gonna leave on uh, US. And uh, game path you're gonna go again to the folders you extracted. And this time you're gonna click on files. And then you're going to put select folder and then accept. Now, here it is. So this is all the levels you can go to. Literally every single level. Also the magicians. These are these bonus levels. So uh, let's, uh, for example, click on one. Pink Plan Woods 2. Double clicking it uh, opens it. Then uh, to move around, you use right click. You press and hold right click to uh, move around. And then there is, uh, at the top left, there is these three menus here. There is uh, layers, there is objects, and there is links. You're gonna be using all three of them. Basically, if you wanna make edits to the background, like this platform here, or these vines, or water, you're gonna be working with layers. So if you're in the objects uh, mode, you cannot actually make changes to the background and the obstacles. So you gotta make sure that you're in the right mode, okay? So let's uh, let's say we want to change something to the background. We have to be in the layer mode. Now the easiest way to make new platforms is to actually copy paste uh, currently placed uh, obstacles or backgrounds. So for example, I can uh, left click and hold, and I can copy paste, for example, this section. So just by uh, selecting it with left click with left click uh, after you release your mouse you have the same thing that you just selected and to paste it you press ctrl plus v on the keyboard and then it uh, puts the platform down now every platform also has collision if you copy paste a platform that has already has collision the next one will have uh, collision as well so you literally copy uh, the collision uh, as well because normally uh, collision is done in the uh, collision edit mode here. So here, if you go to this mode right here, you can actually play around with um, 
with collision. For example, I can paste like just normal collision right here. But that's for later. Anyway, so layer, and then you will always want to be in the map mode, and you can uh, toggle the collision uh, whether you want it. Uh, you can also press C on the keyboard to do that as well. But to make changes to the background, make sure that you're in layer mode. Make sure that you're here uh, in layer as well to the right. And then make sure that you're in map uh, edit layer mode as well. And then you're, you, you're sure that you're in the, the right spot. Now, if you want to play around with collisions, you can show collisions as well with this button or press C on the keyboard, as I said. And then if you click edit layer on collision, you will be in collision editing mode. So for example, I could uh, change any collision I want to something else. Now, I've talked about copy pasting already in-game elements. Now, if there is, for example, uh, an instant death tile you want to create and it's not currently on the map, you can also go to this button here, view tile set. If you click that, you will be brought to a little uh, box here with every single collision that is possible in the game. So if you want an instant death, uh, uh, instant death tile, you're going to click on the skull here. Then you're going to go out of tile mode. And then you still have the skull. And then you just press Ctrl V to uh, paste down the, the skull. So any collision or background for that matter, that is not currently on the screen, you can always get with view tile set. The same with background elements, as I said, you just go to edit uh, layer on the map section, and then you go to view tile set over there. And then you can see every single tile you can place in this level. Now, there is some restrictions. As you can see, you can only see forest elements here. So you cannot place anything from Blue Mountains, you cannot place stuff from Mr. Darks there, you cannot place stuff here from, uh, from Picture City. So in that uh, aspect you are a bit limited, but there are still many, many possibilities. As you've seen some Kaizo levels, they're pretty crazy and you can go wild as well. Um, so yeah, let's go out of tile set mode, like that. Let's press C to not show collisions anymore. And now uh, we can also, uh, for example, change any object in the game. But as I said before, you need to be in the right mode. So we're going to go to objects on the top left and we're going to go to objects on the top right as well. Uh, so these are all the objects currently on the screen. Also, there is a limit to 254 elements. So if you place 254 things on the screen, you cannot put any other object on the screen. So there is a, a limit to it. But yeah, so this is an overview of all the objects currently on the map. Um, now you cannot actually copy paste. Uh, and, um, you cannot copy paste objects. You will need to create new ones. Uh, how to do that is um, through the objects menu here to the top right, and then this drop down menu here. This uh, is a list of all the objects you can place in this specific screen and level. So, for example, if I'm in Picture City, I will not be able to place certain items, just uh, the same as in background tiles, right? So, uh, in this drop-down uh, menu, it lists everything you can use here. So, for example, if you want to spawn a gold fist, I'm going to click on gold fist, and then I'm going to press on this plus icon, and then it's going to spawn in the middle of our screen. And from there on, we can move it and place it wherever we want. If we want to place something else, uh, for example, we want to place a life or a 1-up, we're going to press on 1-up and then on the plus icon. And then we spawn a 1-up. And you can do that with all the objects in the game here. Um, now, there is also some values you can change here. I would recommend staying off them from the in the beginning. Also, I'm not that knowledgeable with the advanced options here. Um... So, but yeah, you can always play around with them and see what they change, you know. The, the, you're free to use that, uh, of course. Uh, then, well, you can delete stuff by pressing the delete key as well. But you first have to select it. Uh, and yeah, that's how you, pre that's how you place these uh, objects in the game. Now, there is one more thing here on the top left. There is these links. Now, links are used alongside of triggers. And a trigger in the game is used with a Gendor R1 size 4. So if you place this, 
uh, every time Rayman uh, comes to this exact position, uh, this will trigger something. Um, so if you go to the link page, you can currently see all the triggers uh, that are active in this screen. So um, to see the active ones, you have to go to these yellow um, links here. The yellow links mean they're active. The orange links mean they're, means they're not active. So for example, this cage will always be on screen, right? From the moment you walk in line of sight, uh, the, screen, the, the, the cage will be there. Now these uh, yellow links, they will only come and spawn when you reach the gen door. So, for example, this gen door right here, this one was linked. If you reach this area, this anti-tune and this anti-tune will spawn. Now if I would click on this yellow box, this means that it unlinks everything. So right now, the anti tunes will just be spawned in from the get-go. If I click the thing again, it becomes yellow again. And that means it spawns again upon reaching this gen door, right? So that's how links work. You can also add as many, thing, uh, as many things to the links as you want. I'm, I believe there is no limit to it, but you, your game might crash if you add too much. I don't know. Um, to add two links together, it can be a bit awkward. Uh, you don't you don't actually click the little box here. As you can see, it doesn't move. You have to click the item. So click and hold, and then you have to drag it towards a different box. Which, as you can see, is a little bit weird. My uh, arrow key is not actually lining up with the, the box. So I have to drag it a little bit further than you think. So when it's overwritten, you have to click it again to make it uh, both yellow. However, this won't do anything because there is no gen door attached to it. So if we want to do something like that, we can add a gen door. So we're going to go to G here. Uh, G, 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 G. See here. Uh, here, gen door, Rayman 1, size 4. And then as all objects in the game, we press the plus icon. It spawns in, in the middle of the screen. Uh, I can put it wherever I want, but to move it around, I have to go to objects again. Then I can move it around. I can place it, for example, here. I go back to links. I click and drag on this object, on this gen door, and I place it here. And then I click again to make the link complete. So right now I can move it wherever I want and the link will stay. Okay. Uh, so, and this means if I reach this point, this cage and this life will spawn in. And that is how links work, okay? So then we covered backgrounds, we covered objects, and we cover links. Uh, and I think apart from that, you should be good to go to do most ROM hacks. So uh, I'll uh, keep it short here. If there is any questions on how to do stuff, you can always put them in the description below, no problem. Um, oh yeah, one more thing maybe. Uh, if you're done editing, you can always click this save button. Then there is going to be a second window opening up here. And when it's done, your ROM hack is made. So you press OK. And then you can go to the folders you uh, used or you extracted earlier. And now in the file step, there will be a Rayman.q and a Rayman.bin. And that is going to be your files uh, to run in an emulator. So if we boot this up in an emulator right now, it would have these changes we just made. And that is also how you test your ROM Mac out, right? So you make the stuff, you load it into an emulator, uh, and then you can play your levels. Now, uh, something that is a pretty uh, neat idea, by the way, if you're, for example, testing a specific area in the game, I would recommend changing the Rayman spawn, once again with the objects panel, we drag Rayman, this is Rayman spawn, by the way. It also says it in the top, Rayman starting position. We can uh, put him, for example, here and then press save. And then when we load up the uh, ROM hack, it, uh, it will start, you know, Rayman right here. So it's great for testing specific locations. Now there is one more hint. If you use an emulator and you make a save state before entering a screen, uh, you're more likely uh, to make it uh, that it uh, that it keeps working because sometimes, for example, if you uh, save state in a screen and you make edits to the ROM hack and you load the save file that you saved with the previous ROM hack, 
then it will uh, stop working immediately or maybe after two or three times. But if you make a safe state when you're on the level select screen, so in the map in the overworld, uh, then it won't do this as much. Like sometimes it still bugs out, but it, it takes a while before it does. So you can make many ROM hack edits as long as you have a safe state on the world map, right? Because uh, when it starts bugging out, you will have to reload the game from scratch without a safe state and then make a new safe state. Then make edits again. Uh, and then load the save state until it bugs out and then you repeat the process, right? So you're gonna boot uh, the, uh, the .q file again from the beginning, make a new save state, make edits until it bugs out again, etc, etc. And that's how you're gonna do it. But yeah, this pretty much covers uh, everything uh, you need to know. Uh, as I said, these values you can play around with. And as I said before as well, if there is any questions or um, or anything, you can uh, leave a comment or join the Rayman Discord. I will also uh, link uh, link you to that in the description. And if you you know if you want to make a level and share it with the community, feel free. You know, uh, we'll be dying to play through your levels. So yeah, that's it. Hope you learned something, and thanks for watching. Peace.